Okay, you guys, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today to do One Piece Chapter 683 review. Now, this week's chapter, One Piece, I'm not going to lie to you. Mona and Virgo, yeah, those two caught my attention like that, like that. Especially Monette, because Monette, we know like almost nothing about her, almost nothing. And she is showcasing quite some impressive feats. So, yeah, I mean, I mean, Monet, I mean, yeah, she, I have my eye on Monet. So what happens, and then Virgo, to, yeah, Virgo was disgusting. Yo, Virgo today was disgusting. Oda took a break, he came back, did some good shit. So, let me get started with the actual summary, because I want to dive right into the actual summary. So, first thing I noticed was the cover page. Cover page was pretty damn funny. Because Carrie Bow is being tied up, about to be tortured, I mean, about to be uh, roasted to death. And what happens is, like, on some witch hunting shit. And then what happens is that we see the ship of his brother. And now it's going to be his brother versus his, his brother and, you know, like, their crewmates against the G5 Marines. Against, you know, this guy wearing the singlet. Like, this. Like, uh, uh, Yamazuki, I think his name is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Commodore Yamazuki, I believe so. I'm not too sure, but this guy is fucking weird as shit. Um, but honestly, like, that, that's gonna be a good cover page next week. So, basically, what happens here is that at the beginning of this chapter, we see a little girl, and she's, you know, she, the little girl who informed us that apparently, uh, Momo, uh, Momo no Suke went into, like, this room and turned into a dragon. And what happened was, was that, she notifies this guy wearing a mask and shit, like the actual, like, you know, protection suit. She notifies him that she wanted to check up on Momonosuke because they apparently came from the same boat, which implies that they are both from the Wano Kuni. And then this guy tells, you know, her, well, you know, everything's going to be okay because we have a lot of different labs here, so we'll treat him when, once we find him. And then she says something that, that caught my attention. She said... Is he eating right? And then he said, yes, he's eating right. Don't worry about that. And I'm like, eating right? Like, why is that important? Like, why would they mention eating right? So I kind of thought about it. And I realized that all these kids were taking candy. So what if the reason why the dragon that we see, maybe the reason why he's so angry is because he didn't eat the candy. Because we see the other crackhead kids, and the crackhead kids are going on frenzies. They are angry as fuck. They are pissed off. They are, they are trying. They are beating the shit out of anyone in their way, in order to get that candy. And the dragon is kind of similar in the sense that the dragon, who was once happy, is now all of a sudden snapped, pissed off, burning everything. You know, biting all these people and yada yada yada. So. Maybe the reason why the dragon is so upset is because the dragon was once Momonosuke, and Momonosuke did not eat his candy in a long period of time. And thus, this dragon is also on crack, and this dragon wants his fucking crack. So, who knows? I mean, that is a possibility. Uh, actually, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I'm, I'm pretty sure. After that, what happens here is that we get to a scene of uh, Luffy, and Luffy's fighting against Monette. And Monette actually did like she like that wall she did. She made like a like, she made she made like the same thing, but the dome around Luffy, like ten layers, ten of those fucking walls and shit, and like something something like ten layers snow hunt, something of that nature. And what happens here is that Monette is trying to stall Luffy, obviously. And Luffy's like, well, I'm I'm gonna break this shit, but Monette is smart and actually hugs Luffy, and apparently she's really fucking cold. Like on some Aokiji shit. Well, no, actually, no, not really Aokiji, but Aokiji is, you know, well, he's ice. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that she is a Paramecia Snow. Maybe, maybe. Uh, yeah, I, I, I can see that. Yeah, like Paramecia Snow, something of that nature, because she's making, she's making snow walls, and once she touches you, she's really cold and shit, and apparently. When she touches you, she can drain your fucking strength. 
Hello. She can drain your strength by touching you. I mean, Mona is very, very impressive. Very impressive. So, she's holding Luffy. Luffy is losing his strength and shit. But what happens is he does a uh, jet uh, spear through the floor, escapes through the bottom of the floor, winds up in some weird ass garbage area, and then the garbage area, I and mean, then like Monette's like, well, you dug your own grave because you can't fly. And then since you can't fly, you're gonna die here. And she actually leaves. But of course, this is Luffy. Luffy can fucking stretch. So he's gonna either either he's either he's gonna stretch out of there, or he may use gum gum no UFO and like hover up and shit. Who knows? I mean, I don't like to see that. I mean, yeah, I know he can stretch, but I want to see him use the UFO to actually fly up and shit. Which would confirm for a fact that Luffy can fly using the gum gum no UFO. I want to see that shit. And what happens is that after this point in time, we we see um Chopper, and Chopper is taking on these crack babies. And these crack babies are beating the shit out of Chopper. I mean, like, like they, they are beating the shit out of Chopper. Like, no doubt. Like, like one kid... One kid was mad fucking dirty. He had a metal pipe and shit right to the fucking shit. Yeah, just hit the <laughs> This dude just hit the shit. I was like, wow. Like, these kids are fucking dirty. They are on some drugs. They are fucked up. I've said it before. i say it again. Do not give your children drugs. That's simple. That fucking simple. So these crackhead kids are beating the shit out of Chopper in monster point. Mad in Monster Point, and what happens here is that Chopper, his three minutes are up. Chopper reverts back to his, you know, like miniature form, his base form. Nami and the rest of them they come in there and disable them. So, Ro so Nami, Brooke, Usopp, uh, Robin, Zoro, uh, what's his name again? Fuck, no, Kinima. Yeah, so they all go in there and they actually save Chopper from you know being gay's ass kicked. And what happens is that the kids, they bypass Chopper and the rest of them, and they wind up in this room called the Biscuit Room. And what happens is that Chopper informs like the rest of them that apparently there's just one girl who is helping him, that, that is helping him out. And her name is uh, Mocha. And Mocha, she was like the she was like the big girl, with like the big kid, with like the fluffy black hair and shit. And what happens here is that Robin tries to stall these kids using her giant hands and shit. Promise that these kids, like I said, they're fucking vicious. They are evil ass kids. These kids, one kid bites the fucking finger and shit. The same kid with the metal pipe, fucking yeah, like they, like, <laughs> like this kid's a slugger. <laughs> this kid's a slugger. He doesn't give a fuck, man. He's swinging his pipe around and shit, and then he, he like breaks on one of her fingers and shit. And what happens here is that a uh, monster she runs away. And then, all of a sudden, the door she was going to run to is sealed off by snow. And then here comes fucking Monette. And then she's like, oh, Monette, sis, please help me. And then Monette with, like, an evil... I'm like, Monette's like an evil Nami. She is. Yeah, she's like an evil Nami. Pretty much. Like, Monette is like, you know, share that shit with everyone. Don't, you, know, you, know, you know, like, don't be stingy. Share that shit. She knows full well what the fuck this crack shit is doing to their doing to these kids. She knows full fucking well. So, yeah, she, she's all dug up. And what happens is that Usopp, she knows that she's the bird woman that he that he saw before. During, uh, on the, uh, on the, uh, hot side of the island. Now, what happens here is that after the scene, we go, we go to the main event. And the main event is sick, alright? Play by play. Trial Father Law versus fucking Virgo. <sighs> Granted, Virgo did have a huge upper hand since Virgo was holding Law's heart in his hand like this and uh, squeezing the shit. But the thing here is that it was... I mean, I'm going to say right now, I think Virgo is the most skilled Rokishi master I've seen in One Piece thus far. At least in the styles of Genpo and Tekai. His, his Tekai is... Fucking superb! It is, oh my god! It, he fractures Sanji's leg for Christ's sake! Like what the fuck? Like this guy is Tech Kai. I mean, maybe it's Tech Kai combined with hockey. Maybe I I think so because this guy right now he's in a whole yeah. This guy's in a whole new league of Rokishi style. At least when it comes to Tech Kai, 
Because not only can he perform Tekai while moving, but his Tekai is fierce. Fierce, man. Fierce. What happens here is that Law does the room, and then he does the shambles thing with, it, with his heart. And his heart appears in his hand. The same instant. Oh, my God. This, the same instant. The heart appears in his hand. Virgo is already there, and he punched the shit out of Law. That is speed. By using sword, he was able to use high speed movement and beat, actually, no, not beat, but keep pace with the shambles movement and punted Law in the fucking face. Oh, oh, this guy's good. This guy's very good. And what happens here is that he grabs the heart as it falls back down, squeezes that shit, laws and fucking laws in extreme pain. Virgo, oh, this, this guy, man, this guy. Virgo walks up to Law, straight up cocks back. Doink! Oh, mm, he was he was done. Law was like fucking. He got his shit rocked. Law got it, period. He got his shit rocked. Law cocks down and shit. But at the same time, goes to the fucking thing. Like he, 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 he does his like twin thumb thing. And then I think it was like a something shocker. Something, um, core shocker. I'm not too sure what it's called. Core shocker. Uh, I want to stay static shock, but you know, <laughs> I really do. Um, something shock. Either way. What happens is that Law releases like a Law releases like a uh, blast of lightning and the counter shock. There we go. Yeah. So Law does the counter shock, releases a blast of uh, electricity from his thumbs and shit in order to shock Virgo. Virgo is like this and shit. Is like, uh, I got a message for you. I'm like, dude, he in phase, in fucking, he took lightning blast. Point blank, didn't fucking phase him, and then Law, I mean, well, he he told him that you know he has he 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 has a message for him from Don Quixote, and he was like, what a shame, and then Law, he said some cocky shit, like you know, I didn't expect you to come here, Virgo, and then Virgo's like, put a sun at the end of that shit, grabs his heart, he squeezes that shit, Law's like fucking. Rah! Law falls back down to the ground and shit. And then Virgo's like, I didn't expect you to be here. Vice Admiral Smoker. I'm like, why the fuck is Smoker, bro? Like, oh, it was awesome, bro. It was awesome. Smoker's right fucking there. Smoker's right there. He's like, I'm going to take you in, Pirate Virgo. And that, there's the end of the chapter. So overall, like, like, like this chapter, uh, overall, the beginning I thought was good. The middle with the kids could have been better. But the ending was, was fucking, yeah. Yeah, the ending, yeah, 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 I love the ending. So the pacing was good. I mean, One Piece manga pacing is very good. The anime pacing is like, what the fuck? But the manga pacing is very good. Because the manga pacing, Oda likes to give you a shit ton of material in one fucking chapter. And if you can keep up, it's very good pacing. Um. Also, the Monet, the Monet factor, yeah. I am keeping, my eyes are on Monet, because I know... She's gonna pull some crazy shit. And then, of course, there is Virgo, who I think is a bigger threat than fucking Caesar Cloud. At this point in time, yeah, I believe so. Virgo over Caesar Cloud. Because Virgo is, is, is his Rokishi style. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. So, that being said, this is the King of Lightning. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, as always. And I'm signing out. And please remember that Don Flamingo sent these people to the island, Baby Five and Buffalo, and hopefully, well, I mean, yeah, yeah obviously they're going to be there to assist uh, Virgo and uh, Caesar Clown in taking on the Straw Hats. So, you know, like, let's see how those guys tie in. Will they make it in time to actually combat the Straw Hats? Will, will the Straw Hats leave before they come to the island? Who knows? Um, but that being said, King Lightning, Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace, signing out.